I mean, like, like, like my side is like, it's, it's, it's basically the same as your side, but right. on another note, mm -hmm. after the war report, Trash right. Drop still reporting, and then, right. and he went on to right. basically give the people the same feeling that we gave on the war report. With right. the Arab Nazis, with this, right. with that. And that, and that so, was my shit. I, I've been to Arab Nazis. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. you know, yeah. so it made people think, like, he basically wrote our shit. Like, that was right. his wave, and he gave right. it to us. But people mm. don't understand that that was us, and we yep. collaborated as a trio. Right. But we was a group. Right. We collaborated together. Like, we right. sat in the studio. We gave each other ideas. All that. Granted. Right. He never wrote one of my rhymes. He never wrote one of your rhymes. Yep. But after the fact, when the war report dropped and he went and did his own thing, he kept our way of going in his music. Mm. So okay. it made people feel like, damn, who wave was that? Was that right. trash wave or was right. that CNN wave? But, right. you know, all, all love, all brotherly love, that was right. our wave. You know right. what I mean? But trash definitely. definitely had input. He definitely had input. He but definitely so had understand. Input. Yeah, he definitely had input. Definitely but had the war report, we came yep. up with that in my career. That's, you know that's another mean? thing I want to settle real quick. Because a lot of people say that uh, he came up with the war report. That's yeah. not true. That is not true. God bless no. Me. no. Just me and you in the crib. Yeah. And I'm, and yeah. I'm hot because I would not smoke around your crib at all. You remember, I respected your mom so much. I would smoke around. Mama <laughs> Love wasn't having that. <laughs> so this is like, how you know my memory is that great. Yeah, yeah. I, I was smoking around the corner. I even think I sprayed cologne on my walking. And and it might have been drank off. And I sat down and I'm high, you high on the couch, but we trying to act sober and we watching CNN and yeah. all of a sudden it was something called the World Report. The World, that the came, world it's Report. The World yeah. Report. Yep. And when we I looked, I looked at you and you looked at me and we said the world report. And I believe, I think it was shots that we heard. And it was like, the war report. Like, it was like, so That's I it, quick, immediately. Enough. Immediately, immediately. So again, like, again, you know, because we're hearing that trash um, is, is doing, dealing with, you know, certain things. So we want to send our love, we want to send our blessings. Right. We don't want to, um, we don't want to, uh, you know, take anything away. But what we're trying to say is, because like when people, when I hear people say, Yo, you know, I heard he came up with the idea of war report, uh, and even when people say like the um the Arab shit, yeah. Now this is something. This is something that I want to attest because I want to give all three of us props. I remember you saying about the name Capone and me, we adapted the name Noriega, but I remember Nas at the time came Escobar, and we were yes. like, damn, we was like, that's too much. Like yes. that's a Spanish dictator, and then we came together and said, yo, you know what we should do? We should change our hoods. To like you know Bosnia, Bosnia Kuwait. Kuwait. Like now mm -hmm. I gotta say, all three of us was there for that. Yeah, 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 collectively. All, yeah, collectively. You know what I'm saying? All three of us was there for that, and we came. And we was like, you know, similar to how Wu Tang, you know, with the Wu Tang changed it to Chinese shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And and even though we had mobs the name, we was like, fuck it, let's take it to the Middle Eastern shit. And, we and all, look, not and, to cut your wisdom, but remember, at that time, the Wu had the Italian names, too. It was Lex oh, yep. Gambino. Was Gambino. Gambino. You know, they had the joint. So we was like, damn, we got to switch it up a little yep. other, little different to where we still, you know, my name, Poem, you know, yep. Yeager. We got different elements of all types of street life. But the yep. Wu, they went from the Chinese, then they went to Wu Gambinos. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So mm -hmm. we switched it up and said, all right, we got to take this to another level and make it to where we're not biting these niggas. We're not yep. biting these niggas. We're coming in our own lane. Yep. That, that was and the way. And Trad was there. That moment right there. He was he definitely was there. One million percent. He was quite yeah. essential for that. Yeah. Because, you know, even when we thought of that and he gained in, we mm -hmm. didn't know about Bosnia. We didn't know about yeah. like, like Kuwait and things like that. Trad was smarter than us. Yeah, he was. He, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was, when it came that, that, he was smarter than us. When it came to that, he was one he million was percent smarter, smarter than us. That's true. You know what? I'm going I'm to I'm say it like how you said it. He, he was, was straight smarter up smarter than us. He was smarter. You know like, we had the idea, but he took that shit and he created. And, you know, like big up to him, but I want to say that we complimented each other because you could, you could see and you could hear his music prior to him getting with us. And you yeah. could hear his music after he got with us, and you can see, not to say his music improved, but it became more of him. You could yeah. tell, like, when he was doing, like, when he was with Marley, like, you could tell, like, a lot of the times he were listening to what Marley's, I don't know. I just yeah. know that he felt more co comfortable 
in the pocket with us, like you know what I'm saying, with the war report. You know what it I mean? Was, it was, it was, it, you, you got to realize, you know, coming from the bridge, I see Trash growing up, see Molly, Juice Crew, all that. I don't think Trash had the comfortability of being gangster and uh, smart. Woo. He didn't but have now that that's comfortability. Dope. But now that's dope. Now, like, now that's dope. You know what I mean? Yeah, like even even when even when he was intelligent, hooker, people still took the intelligent aspect because mm. of the songs he was making mm. and making it overpower the hooker. But Trash mm. is gangster. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was and gangster, he, and he's definitely a you know what I'm saying. <laughs> he's definitely a hooker. He you is know an what intelligent hooker. So when when he got with us, it was like, damn, I got two <laughs> niggas that are not stupid. <laughs> God body, know the math, know the lessons, know the Quran, know the and science, let they thing go. and they let their thing go. This is the lane I needed to be in. I, I think if Traj was in, if he had the opportunity to express that a little more than Juice Crew, he would have had a different, different career. You know, I've seen the interview with Traj said, he said, his whole life would be different had he been on the symphony. And I got to agree with that. Because Hell let me yeah. tell you something. I, I'm a fan of Craig G. And I love, first of all, Craig G destroyed that. My but if you, if you replace Craig G and you put Trash there, it's a different level of it's career. A different ball game. It's a different yeah. ball game. And you know, yeah. one thing about Trash is, Trash, Trash, Trash is, when he write his own shit, like meaning like, when he's writing the sport, uh, doing a sec record for himself, but when he's on there, knowing that he's on there with somebody else, he always try to like, you know, OD, OD with this. Yeah. So I, I, I agree, I agree with him. Nah, big up to Trash, man. We had to take big this up. out and give up to Trash, man. You know yeah, what I'm saying? My brother, we with you. We love you. Yep. We just want the people to know that you definitely had an input on the war report. You definitely yeah. was there. But you ain't like that shit, nigga. But <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. well, we, yeah, right. we love him. And you know what? I thought about this. You know what the crazy shit is? I thought about this watching Griselda, right? And I'm looking uh -huh. at Griselda. And, you know, they, they, they claim they, they, they're doing this upstate New York movement. And I'm saying, you know what the crazy shit is? If it wasn't for Troy, New York, and if it wasn't for Harlem Valley, which is, I believe, Poughkeepsie, New York. No, that that was, uh, Harlem Valley was, it wasn't Poughkeepsie. Poughkeepsie it was, was, it was like close the street. Poughkeepsie. It was, it was the closer door. because the, it was it was close to Poughkeepsie, Newburgh, all that right. shit right there. But if it, Wingdale, I'm, Wingdale. Wingdale, Wingdale. Wingdale, Wingdale. So if it wasn't for Wingdale yeah. and Troy, New York, mm -hmm. in a certain funny way, there wouldn't be a Capone in Noriega. There might nah. not be a Neptune. There might not be a drink chain. Nothing. There might not be everything associated to that. So when I'm listening to Griselda the other day, and I'm like, you know what? We have an upstate story. It's a little bit different. Yeah. But in all actuality, you and Traj are both from Queensbridge, but y'all connected in Troy, upstate New York. We, we, nah, we didn't connect. Yeah, we, we, I right, put it like this. We connected okay. through, one, through Wonderful. Shout okay. out to Wonderful, South of Jamaica, Wonderful. One, I was getting money in Troy, New York, and mm. Wonderful was the rapper at the time. He was getting mm. money. He was me and my man Shy. You know we doing our thing, but mm. Wonderful was the one booking studio time while me and Shy up in Troy, New York, and he going back to Jam Master J Studio recording. Wow. So wow. what happened was one day I'm in Troy, New York, and Wonderful like, yo, I'm going to the studio. I'm like, I right, bet I'm gonna stay up here this this money. Right. He gets to the studio, he calls me like, yo, you're not going to believe who I'm with. I'm like, wow. who? He like, Trash. I'm like, wow. get out of here. He put Trash on the phone. Trash like, yo, my nigga. Would make a long story short, wonderful told Trash I could rhyme. But I've never was like rhyming to, you know, we was hanging right. out at the time. So right. we, we both know right. we wasn't trying to rap to get on and right. shit. Right. But Trash said, yo, come to the studio. I'm like, right. I bet. Yeah. I get to the studio, Trags there, rest in peace, Jam Master J there, wow. and Dale Felony. I'm saying New York? This no, this is in Queens. Queens, okay, all right. Master J cool, studio cool. in Queens. I mm. think I paid a fee to drive me all the way from Troy, New York to the studio. Oh, wow. So now I get to the studio, and Trags, we sit there, we joking about past shit. You know, I ain't see Trags in a minute. So, uh, Everybody start rhyming. You know, Jam Master J doing a beat, everybody rhyming. So now I start rhyming. Trash like, yo, hold up. I didn't know you was like that. And from that day, Trash took me under his wing and said, yo, I'm going to make something happen in your life. And sure enough, he made something happen in our life. 
They made and both like, all like he knew I had a like, brother, and yeah. I'm like, yo, I started doing this shit solely. I'm like, yeah. you came home. I'm like, yo, oh nah, I gotta do this for my brother. Yeah. And trash saw the he saw the dots, and he was like, y'all niggas is like hot and cold, opposite of magnets. Let's right. roll with it. You know what I mean? Right. Where yeah. going? Trap, tra tra That's how it happened. How about when we we, we met Biggie in front of Hot Nine Seven? That was real. Uh, that, that was real. I'm not even gonna lie though. Yo, trash, trash is definitely a go getter. Cause we didn't want to do it. We like we not, we thought we was too gangster. Like we right. not running for big. Like we not right. going to Hot Ninety Seven. Right. Yeah, I was like, yo, y'all niggas. But, but we, we went to Hot Ninety Seven. We rhymed, but we didn't know Big was downstairs. Big just no, we didn't know he was downstairs. Yeah. We knew when he was on the radio, but right. we didn't know he was gonna be there when we right. got there. Right. And when we got there, it was him, D. Rock, and C's in the Lex Land. Right. And right. Rhymed, right. And Big was like, I'm fucking with you. Mm -hmm. I said, damn, I, well, yeah, I, I kind of felt good. <laughs> I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I felt horrible. <laughs> I was too scared to rhyme, like, at the time, like, and it was just you, like, you, and not only you rhymed, you just kept rhyming. Like, you, yeah. had, you had, it was like you had bars for days, and I just had no bars. And I was just like, <laughs> I was just like, damn, like a sad yeah. little dog. But I was like, yeah. fuck it. But I knew Trash blocked that deal. But you know what? He blocked that deal for a blessing, cause no, nah, no, nah, he did, he did, yeah. because I, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. And let me tell you when he blocked the deal, right? Mm. Uh, this dude named Knowledge. I don't know, I, I, you know the story. When Knowledge yeah. had through a party in North Carolina, uh -huh. it was me. Well, I wasn't on the bill. Mm. Mob D, Keith Murray, uh -huh. Nas, Biggie, Mr. Uh -huh. That was the bill. Wow. So they was like, yo, have like, yo, man, um, trash, like, yo, let's home ride with y'all. Have like, all right, bet. I ride to North Carolina. We get down there. Big, big supposed to fly down there. Mrs. Flight, nice, all of us, we took tour buses. Right. Big, he was in LA, Mr. Flight. So they had like a party one night and then a concert the next night. I mean, the concert one night, the party the next night. But they had to switch it because Big missed his flight. So they did the party the first night. Mm. So at the party, shit jumped off. North Carolina niggas tried to front on us. Me, C's, and Twin went at the whole club. Make a long story oh. short, the next day, Big comes. Big tells Nas, yo, it's this dude from QB named Capone. He rap. Mm. I'm trying to fuck with him. Nah, it's like, yo, I don't know no nigga named Capone that rap from QB. That, that's how they, he know. called you Cayenne, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he like, y'all ain't know Cayenne, but he busts his gun. Like, he ain't no rapper. Right. So, Big like, nah, yo, he, he describing me. My, I'm on a balcony smoking and shit. Nigga Big turns around, look like, there you go right there. So, from that night, Big wanted me on his set. So, I get on his set. I get on, I was like a stage whore that night. Wow. I got on everybody said nice, big. I was on that. I was just a stage tour, drunker than a motherfucker. But after that, Big was like, yo, I want to sign you to Junior Mafia. I came back, told Trash that. Trash like, yo, he kept it real. was like, yo, you're not going to be the only nigga in a bunch of Brooklyn niggas yelling Queens. Right. I wow. said, yo, you know what? <laughs> you right. I'm not going to do that. And, he, and, and that's when he was like, yo, we're not having that. We're not having that, man. And uh, we ain't do that shit. Big definitely wanted to sign a nigga, but nah, guess that's what? Good. That that right there was a blessing in disguise because it paved the way for us to do us. That's true. Because I I might have been I still might have been the only nigga in Junior Mafia. Hey, but Brooklyn, I was like, what? <laughs> well, and then, and then he named another nigga in Junior Mafia named Capone. Him. So you know, like he was on it. You know, like he was on it. Now he was on it. Now look, I, I, yo, that 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 history. It's real. Yeah, like, yeah. shout out to Lil C's. He know we fought the whole club that night. Niggas right. was barking at us and everything. That's why, right. I, you know, I hate to go backwards, but right. even when the Hot 97 shit happened, yeah, C's, he, he was never like, this is it's, never supposed to happen. It's the only drama that I ever had that, like, I'm kind of embarrassed by. I'm like, embarrassed. You embarrassed. know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. like when I see D-Rock, I always smile. I always crack a joke. We don't crack a nah. joke about that situation. Nah, but I nah. crack a joke. 
I crack a joke, period, about something else. I'm like, oh man, Brooklyn niggas in the house. Let me watch out. And be like, oh, come on, Nori, stop. Yeah. Oh, like, like crack a joke like that, but not about the situation. But nah, about, not about the situation. That shit was uh, real. Yeah, it's real. Like when I see C's, but when I see Kim, like it's really something that, you know, I'm I'm embarrassed by because of Big's love for us and our mm -hmm. love for Big. Like, yes. you know like that's that's something we gotta save for the documentary because even though Big didn't sign you and uh, I mean that shit didn't work, we would still hang out with Big on the regular in the tunnel. Yeah. In yep. the tunnel. And in fact, we made LALA for Big. He was supposed to do the remix. He was supposed to do the remix and everything. And like we we like hung out with him and we was like, yo, we can't be we can't be hanging out with you and these dudes from the West Coast is shitting on you. Yep. And we we coming up, so we was like, fuck it, like, you know what I'm saying. So actually, when I when L A L A when L A remember I had heard L A L A because Chaz had played me L A L A. He had played me New York, New York. Excuse me. Was yo big of you and Daz and everything y'all doing? You know what I'm saying. Good luck, that, good luck, that, 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 that's dope. Um, uh, really, really appreciate that. That's what's going on. But um, so when we went to Stretch Armstrong crib, I remember they said, yo, uh, y'all got nothing y'all want to do, and I said, yo, you got the Dog Pound album because it was a DJ list. And mm -hmm. he pulled up the Dog Pound album, and they played New York, New York. And we still ain't know if they was dissing us. That's why, I mean, yeah. if you really listen to our shit, we didn't diss them. We just like, kind of, like, responded or replied. Yeah, you know yeah. it saying? wasn't all, like, diss them personally. It was yeah, just, like, a yeah. little bit. Yeah, little until bit. the video. When the video came out, we just kind of diss We threw Snoop off the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We tried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we tried. But, but originally, and it's crazy, and it's crazy, rest in peace. If you listen to everybody's verse, and especially the original, in the original, the only person that any had any indication that uh, of L.A. was Prodigy. Bro. Pre he said, yeah. Yeah, "He said G JFK on our way to L.A." LA. That's, the, that's the only yeah. part that you can say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we didn't go out there. And mom, and, and you know what's crazy that we did that, and after we did it, we submitted it to Puff for yep. the Bad Boy mixtape. Yep, and, and, and Puff and was supposed to use it. I was supposed to use it, but Big blocked it. Big told me himself. Yeah. Big said, yo, I'm not going to use it because I ain't on that energy. Like, he didn't use that word. I ain't on that they energy. They didn't want to do it. But, but he, he didn't want to do it. Word. But but you know what's crazy about it, though, is that that mixtape broke our whole lane of music. The live, mm. DMX, mm -hmm. us. And mm -hmm. We wasn't on it, but it felt like we was on it because... We no, I think they used like a legal life. Genre. I think they used like a legal life or something like that. I, I can't remember. I can't, I can't remember. remember. I, I think but, it was but, a, but, a album. Cut. But the thing that made it dope was that Puff knew that we was gonna be who we was gonna be. You know, Puff right. see right. talent before right. talent see talent, right. and he didn't use that. He felt bad. So what he do? He gave us Daddy's house for free. Oh, that's yeah. how we get T-O-N-Y. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's real. how we get T-O-N-Y. That's real. Because Nasheen Marek that. was at Daddy's house. He yep. was like, oh, shit, Nasheen. Yep. We wasn't even doing T-O-N-Y yep. when we was using Daddy's house. Yep. Yep. Nasheen came in and was like, oh, Nasheen. shit, we're Queens, niggas. Oh, y'all in Daddy's house? Let's work. And Nasheen we wanted Myrick. doing T-O-N-Y. Nasheen Marek. So yep. it kind of it worked out in ways yep. that it was like the powers that be. Puff blessed us. He plus he gave us that we had daddy's house for free. We used wow. to be posted up in front of daddy's house and niggas like, yo, what the fuck are these niggas doing here? Who are these niggas? Wow. And we getting free sessions. Cause wow. Puff like, yo, my bad. I told y'all I was gonna use it, but I ain't use it. But here, take the studio with nobody in there. Wow, that's Remember when we was doing TLY, Big walked in the studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big walked yeah. in the studio. Yeah, but it wasn't no vocals on on on, on it yet though. Mm -hmm. It was no vocals, so. Yo, I, I ain't gonna lie, when Big called me one day and he played me T O N Y, I almost lost my heart. Because, you know, this is bootlegging time. I thought I was bootlegging. I was like, I'm bootlegging. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, no, idiot, it's not me played it for me. Not yeah. me. I was like, oh, man. Because, you know, we, I, I, we couldn't fight the bootleggers at then. No. Nah, like, this shit got bootlegged, it's over. I ain't gonna fight. If this shit got bootlegged, you was hot. You were hot though. You were hot, you but were hot. you ain't you ain't getting no residuals behind that. It you was hot. Crazy. What? Oh shit! Over for it. You over there? Over for it. I'm over for it. Over for it. What? Over for it. Yeah. But you had you had an EP that just dropped, right? Huh? You had an EP that just dropped? Nah, I didn't drop it yet. Remember, we uh, was gonna drop on the same day. I ain't drop it because I. Had I thought you posted some there. shit with some nigga. Oh no no no! That's my nigga. That's smart oh. hip hop. I want okay. everybody to check him out because. 
at the end of the day, you know, with everything that's going on, this brother said to me, and his Instagram is at Smart Hip Hop. He said to me, he was like, yo, bro, I love what you're doing. I'm a CNF fan. But what you think about doing an educational EP, like, like street education? And I'm like, what? And then he played me his first EP because he has a, a, we did the second one. He has a, a, a one but he, he did before that. And I was like, oh, he's sick, but no curse. No, and he do all Tali Kwalib's on it. Tali Kwalib about to do him, excuse me, or Lord Jamal about to do. We're gonna do a live Zoom, like like how you did the album release party. We don't uh -huh. listen. And okay. you know, we, 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 we did that and um he's dope. Like I said, his name is Smart Hip Hop, and that EP is out right now. You know what I mean? On all platforms. It's called Wolves Dope EP. Shout out to Smart Hip Hop, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. But I got my own EP I'm dropping probably okay. next week. You know okay. what I'm saying? I just had to wait for two more people to send their verses in, and I'm, okay. I'm in. You know what I mean? Because no, we not, wanted to drop the same day. Right. That's that CNN jacket right there? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Show the people, man. Show the people that CNN. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. CNN jacket, man. Let them know where they can copy that right now. The CNN oh. jacket. Hey, you can, you, yeah. can, you can cop the CNN jacket at Iraq, I R A K. QB.com. That's right. our website. You can get anything dealing with Capone and Nori. IraqQB.com, right. man. That's the wave right now. Anything that got to do with Capone and Nori is going to be on IraqQB.com. Yo, but uh, what's going on? Is, is people in QB social distancing? Or you on the, I heard J Rock told me it's a big dice game that happened the other day out there. Listen, <laughs> QB don't understand social distancing, man. Uh, We're the biggest projects in America. We ain't got no yeah. terrorists. Uh, we we are we are confined to six blocks. Uh, At the end of the day, you know. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm disappointed. I'm like disappointed in Iraq too. That people ain't practicing social distancing. But I, I see I, really I, out there. You know what yeah. I mean? Really was outside. Like I, I, I ain't like that. Neither. Nah, it was his birthday. Mm -hmm. uh, but guess what? You know what? I'd rather spend this birthday in the home. house and yeah. make, able to make another birthday. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but you know, you know what the problem is? Is that people in the projects don't get it. Right. Because they're so used to being on top of each other. They're right. so used to have to being around people. Right. They're just not used to social distancing. And it's hard to make somebody that's used to being next to somebody social right. distance. Like if you live in a house or a complex or even a building, you can right. social distance. Right. But projects, you got to use the same store. You got to do this. Half of the people in the projects ain't got cars. Right. But they got to walk to the store. They got to go to the store. They gotta, it's hard to social distance. That's why they say New York got it so bad. Yo, hold on. Sorry to change subjects. Sorry to say, change subjects. But Butch Rock is in here. John, Butch Rock on? I'm trying to joke on niggas. I think you... Which one, which one of y'all? Yeah, he had dirty feet, or, or which one of y'all? Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Who hey. had dirty feet? Him or you? Okay. Butch Rock, Butch Rock, Butch Rock, <laughs> Butch. Hey, Butch, Butch, stop playing, Butch. Butch, Butch you nah, gotta relax. Got, yo, yo, slime, slime. Yo, yeah, listen. So let me tell y'all something. Butch I don't been our DJ any, for twenty years. Look, I don't want anybody to know, like, or think that this is racist because I was just watching <laughs> Captive. I was just watching Captive, and it's um, it's a show about it's a, it's an episode about the Philippines. But yo, let me tell you something. Every night you go in Butch Rock room, it shit smell like rice and a rock, a rock pot, a rice pot, a, a rice yo, pot, no doubt, no doubt. Yo, yo, my dude, no, no racist shit, no not racist no racist shit. shit. No and racist bitch, shit. Butch, Butch, Butch Rock snore like oh. a caveman, uh, oh, like that yeah, motherfucker's yeah, yeah. it. Yo, yeah. now, but look, yo, every time we talk about the Philippines, I just remember a story you told us one day. It's yeah. when you was getting the Newport chain. He uh, was like, Donnie oh, no, Dane no, did that. Vietnam. That's no, Vietnam. 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 That was Vietnam. Yeah. <laughs> Donnie Dane was like, my hood is a motherfucker. No, they eat no. dope. <laughs> now, here's the crazy shit. Here's the crazy shit. You know, I, I used to be scared of L.A. I used to be scared of L.A. Me, me personally. Mm -hmm. So I never used to go to L.A. Like, I used to go. And then when I got used to it, I started going all the time. So this time, I went to Watts. I went to Crenshaw. I went to... Compton, I went to South, whatever. I went to Inglewood. I went everywhere. I went. I went. I visited every hood, and I was proud of myself. I came back. I'm smoking with you. Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, I just went to every hood in L.A. He's like, L.A. He's like, a hood in L.A. Like, I'm from Vietnam. We from the real hood. 
we gone. I said, what? You win. <laughs> now, but the way he said, my hood is a motherfucker. <laughs> my hood is a motherfucker. My hood is a motherfucker. That's TV Johnny, that Johnny Daniels. Okay, How long have you been? Yo, what's going on, Tito? I see you out there, Tito. How long you been back smoking now? How long you been uh, smoking? Like a month. A month? A month, yeah, like a month back smoking a back end, so you know what I'm saying? I mean, I was right. smoking, but full throttle, right. but I'm not even going to lie. These shits, it's not fair, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, I ain't going to lie. I, it took me to it's sleep. not fair. Me to sleep. Yo, Big Murk, I see you, Big Murk. I got a blog coming out today, Big Murk. You're going to laugh about it, Big Murk, you know what I'm saying? Carlito, I see you, baby. Lito, I see you. Lito in here. Heathcliff, what's going on? Yo, Heathcliff, you got to stop putting the rat shit, because it looked like... I know it's a raccoon you're trying to say, but you look crazy, man. You gotta, you need another emoji, man. You need another, <laughs> you need another emoji, he flipped. What's going on, Sonny Morris? D. Sonny D. He said, Sonny I got D. spirits. What the fuck is spirits? Look oh. This. oh, okay, all right. I thought he was talking about spirit cigarettes. You know, nah, you know, he hates him. We don't know. He might be talking about some other spirits. Word, word, <laughs> word. But uh, nah. I haven't I've been drinking a week, but I'm gonna drink tomorrow, and I might drink Monday, uh, um, Saturday morning. You know because what you said you're, you're the weekend warrior now, right? Yeah, I'm trying to be the weekend warrior. I'm trying to even go to class with Noah. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, uh, uh, big up Nassim in here. You know what I mean? And everybody uh, during this pandemic, man. You know, we 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 we, we out here. But the, you know, um, shit. I just wanted to talk about that because that rumor, you know, with with earlier was so like, and it, you know, I never really addressed the rumor. Because I didn't feel like it, like you know what I'm saying. Um, what's going on, Deuce? I see you, but I didn't feel like it. But um, it's great, trash. It's, especially that we see in trash, and you know we're hearing trash is doing better, and you know, and, um, and, and and all that. Because I really want to do, I really want to do the documentary. It's really time yeah. for not. Not I was thinking about doing the CNN documentary, but I think it doesn't even go to the CNN documentary. I think it starts the War Report documentary. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just the making. 